In this video, we'll cover some useful tools for the surface finishes in SCS2 2023. You'll see that we've added two new options in the update attributes. Maybe I want to mass reset the members and then I have an option for yes or no. Or I can update the surface finish on multiple members to maybe painted and do this by area and select a handful of these members. In addition to update attributes, we've also added some new fields in the status display. Maybe I want to set my color to green and then set my member status. You now have a surface finish. And I'm going to set that to painted. I'll add in another priority and set it to magenta and go to my material status. We've previously had material surface finish, but now we have material auto surface finish. I just want to point out. We don't utilize the hide options in here because you could hypothetically have some materials or members in your model that could have one of the hidden finishes. So we want to make sure that they are available to apply. And then I'm going to set this to sandblasted. I'm just going to load up a default status display that I've already created. So you can see in my green material finish, it's going to be painted. Blue is going to be blue, red oxide is magenta, yellow zinc is yellow, and sandblasted is orange. I've mentioned in a previous video, but if I update on the member level, I can then individually modify a piece of material and change that to a different surface finish. So if I'm going to utilize in my status display on the member level, and maybe that there's a piece of material that is a different surface finish, everything's going to show up as the member level color. So if you want to see every piece of material and what surface finish it is, maybe you want to set this to material surface finish. So now I can see everything. I have my blue, my painted, and my magenta as red oxide. Let's take a look at my suffixes for my piece marks. If I zoom down in here, I can see my base plate and I put a suffix of P1 for my blue. And then if I come over here, I can see that my painted, I did have a suffix set in my setup for P2. And I'll just show the other column it's set to red oxide. I didn't have a suffix set for this one. Another tool that you can utilize inside of modeling for finishes is going to be advanced selection. In your advanced selection, we've got a few things that you can go through and specify or find. So I'm going to start off with maybe just a generic display name finish. I want to select all my members for right now. And then we'll say this is a painted finish. So I'm just going to type in m.finish equals equals painted. Now you can see that it has selected all of my members that have a painted finish. Maybe I want to see all of my red oxide. So red oxide in my setup was just a legacy surface finish. There needs to be surface finish before the name. So I'll put surface finish red oxide. Another way to use advanced selection would be finding the surface finish by the abbreviation since I set that to PNT. So I can do m.finish and then underscore ABBR for abbreviation and then equals equals PNT. Now we can see all of the members highlighted that were painted with that abbreviation of PNT. So I've pretty much shown you everything on the member level. So everything also is available on the material level. So let's change this to select by material. And then my selection code will be MT instead of M for member have a material finish of blue. Some more tools to utilize are reports. So you can go through and create your own reports. I already have a report that is installed with SDS 2023. I can do an overview. I can do one for members and I can do one for material. I'm going to show the members and material one. So when I run that, I'll select all and base this report for my model. So we'll just select everything and click OK. 
So looking through that report, I can see my member piece mark, what finish it is, the abbreviation on that finish, the prep and process, and then the source of that. Maybe I want it more on a detailed level. I want to get the information based on the material instead of the members. I'll just do the same thing. I'll run it for materials, select everything. And then you can see my piece mark the finish being applied, the abbreviation to that finish, the prep and process, the source, and this one I've included the surface area. So I could go through and get the total surface area of all the blue or painted or basically any finish that I might have applied to my model and that gives you a little bit more information of maybe how much paint I need to order or anything along those lines.